What's up guys, you're going to be watching Season 8, Episode 6 of The Walking Dead. In the last episode, we had the return of Negan and we, we saw some pretty interesting stuff with him and Father Gabriel. I thought it was cool to see them together in scenes throughout the episode. And at the end, it, things didn't look good for Father Gabriel. We don't know if he's like sort of playing the sickness or if, if he actually was bit or is sick from the guts or whatever the case may be with him and it looks like Eugene might might start shifting sides with Dwight hopefully hopefully he does but yeah let's see what this episode has in store we're already to episode six the season's flying by but yeah let's get right into it and let's go Carl Michonne you guys have been gone forever like they are not getting paid this season. We had a hard fight. We lost people, brave people who gave their lives to make sure we won. By the time it was over, there weren't any saviors left standing. Rick is still giving these beautiful speeches but from they, a distance. But things got complicated. Ezekiel, Jerry, and me were the only ones who made it back. All three we need. To each other. To now. And we're so close. This could be our last fight. All right, nice, nice cut off. Yeah, keep it. Keep it, okay. I would have happily kept it. Oh, really? It was there for a reason. We might have plenty now that could change. I don't catch our own. Paul, this farce has gone on long enough. No, Man, I agree with Maggie me. on this. Here you have you, Marvin. Screw Save those guys. Life. You promised to meet Rick and the others. You need to get out here. How's Zeke doing? I know. It's we tough for him. Another... What the fuck? We need you and you need us. Trick. It's not. Oh, you're one to talk. I'm here to come with my people. Taking this place. You know I have the numbers for that now. You saw it. Still. I love you. Negan Steele, I'm here to offer a better one. Ooh. My people. Yes or no? What's it gonna be? No. Talks too much. Great reason to say no. Talks too much. No. It's pretty easy for me not to sell out the hilltop to Negan. Go ahead, touch me. Got him. What I did was in the best interest oh, of this community. I'm gonna judge you till the day you die, girl. No. Need someone to tell you it's okay to follow your gut. And guess what? I'm that guy. Well, I'm a little hippie. Yeah, you fight. are full of shit. You toilet. That's fine. I'll be back soon. We'll be back soon. I wanted to tell you that you were right when you didn't kill Dwight. You wouldn't have gotten this far without him. The thing is, I know what you said, but after this, I'm gonna kill him. We can do it Boondock Saint style. Maybe it could be you, Mom. Jesus. Yeah. Wow, Jesus. I'm no angel. I'm sorry, No such thing.
That guy seemed kind of cool. Can we trust him? Hell to the no, no, no. But. Why did you need to come out here? I like, that. I like this little talk there. Is Carl hey. still watching this guy? Carl, this you, you are gonna get yourself in trouble. I'm Carl. Can't you see that? Can't you half see it? About helping people. My mom told me that you gotta do what's right. You're right. I applaud you, you for this, this, Carl. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. I need mm. you to answer honestly. The okay. questions? I miss these. Okay. How many walkers have you killed? I know it's hard to keep track. 137. He knows the exact number. Really? There's no way. He looks she like Garrus in, in the that, weirdest way possible. Harder? They never get seen again, and if they do, they're monsters. Is that what you want? Not scared. Then you're stupid. You need <laughs> fighters, so I'm fighting. Again. Just now, were you going to go back to the Savior's place by yourself? Let me go with you. Oh, I have you. to get the guys who killed my brother. I love this kid. We don't trust. Run around inside our walls. You're right, Gregory. You gonna put him in? I couldn't stop thinking about what you told me yesterday. You see, I grew up on a farm. They're gonna put him in, oh my god. You know all about sheep and wolves. Well, he deserves. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, Gregory. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you serious? It's hard, though. Wait, this, this can't. Wait. Maggie, I already love you with all of my heart. I love you even more for this. Oh. Oh, ew. Come on, Carl. That kill was brutal. Come on, oh my god. That freaking sucks. This is, this is intense. Michelle, cut a bitch. Oh. Oh my god. Call me baby girl. Bro, Zeta fucking blew him away. Like it's freaking winter time in Chicago. Oh my god. That was badass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Daryl, yes! <laughs> Jesus, that was too close. That, that was too funny. That was so funny. Cover your ears. Oh crap. Yo. We're gonna make him see us. The door's not locked. <laughs> Carol, it's ready to just blow these windows off. She can walk right in. You still, you still the king. Come on. I played a part. And early on, I was shown that the stakes for these people's lives be what they need. Uh, you're gonna have to, and you're it's you're gonna have to. And your queen is this queen is about to show you the way. Turn back. You can lead them. You can, you, you can both lead them together. It has to be you. It'll be you with her by your side. 
you inspired them to build this place. Those people need King Ezekiel. Yes. And if you can't be the king, then do what you do best to play the part. Yes. I have to act there. My man! I screwed up once. I don't want you guys to kill me. Wish I would win. Wish I would win. Let me come with you. No, no, no. You're right. We need to win. So there we go guys with season 8 episode 6 of The Walking Dead. I thought this was a, a pretty good episode. I liked seeing a lot of the characters that we haven't seen in a while. Like Michonne, Carl. We got to see Carl. Carl was great in this one helping uh, Shadik or Sadiq or uh, however his name was said. I don't quite remember. But uh, Carl was great with him, those two together. Carl asking him the questions, of course, and then inviting him to the group. I thought Carl was amazing for that. And yeah, I, I loved seeing him. Like I said, Michonne, Rosita. Just these characters that haven't been there since like season, since episode one or two of this season. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really the only bad thing about having so many characters. It's, it's, it makes me start to miss those smaller the smaller characters that we got to see a lot of in the previous seasons. Uh, King Ezekiel is in a rough place uh, as ex as expected. Carol was helping him through that though. And the scene where she, she talked to him for a while telling him he has to play the part. He has to be the king for these people. Uh, and I think King's going to come around because he has to do it. Carol, be his queen or whatever. Uh, and also the scene, the scene I really liked was Rosie to blowing that freaking guy up and them almost getting away and then there's Daryl and Tara crashing right into him ending her I thought that scene was really cool suspenseful and tense uh yeah and Rick is captured at the end and it looks like he's naked shirts off for sure he's sweating he's he's in that thing but yeah I did really enjoy this episode uh, Maggie. I love Maggie so, so much. <sighs> I love her. Uh, yeah. I really did enjoy this episode, though, guys. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Thanks for watching. I'm out.